हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर पुनीता रंगराज ऑब्सटेशियन गायनकोलॉजिस्ट एंड इनफर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट कैम्ब्रिज हॉस्पिटल अलसूर बैंगलोर Irregular period indicates that whether you are ovulating irregularly or you are not ovulating at all. So first and foremost, you must find out the cause as cause of your irregular periods. It could be a hormonal imbalance, the most common cause we call it as PCOD or a polycystic ovarian disease. The other cause could be thyroid disorders, or it could be a pituitary or adrenal imbalance. If it is anything to do with a thyroid or a pituitary or an adrenal, you should consult an endocrinologist and treat the problem so revert back to normal periods. If it is a polycystic ovary, which is a very very common, 10 to 15 percent of women of reproductive age suffer from this problem, so you'll have to treat your polycystic ovary. The general treatment for polycystic ovary is reduce stress, have a good sleep, proper exercise, weight reduction, etc. Along with that, you can take some ovulation induction drugs like clomiphene citrate or an HMG or uh, FSH. Apart from all these things, once everything is ruled out, you want to know when you are ovulating, when can you have sex to have a pregnancy. There are a few parameters which you can definitely find out whether you are going to ovulate. Maybe you can use a ovulation kit. In a ovulation kit, what happens? Normally, it depends on a hormone called LH or a luteinizing hormone, which is secreted by the pituitary, which gives a signal to the ovary to release the hormone. This LH increases slightly just before the ovulation. Once this increase happens, the ovulation occurs after 24 to 36 hours. So, when you in an ovulation kit, this LH hormone is present in the urine. So it is a basically a urine test. Take a ovulation kit, put a drop of urine, see whether the ovulation kit shows that it is positive. If it is negative, please repeat it after a day or two. Once it becomes positive, that means you are going to ovulate in another 24 to 36 hours. So you will have to time your sex during that time because the semen is active in the uterus for 24 to 48 hours. And if the ovulation happens after 24 hours, when it reaches the uterus, the egg is active only for 12 to 24 hours. So by the time the egg reaches the uterus, your salmon will be already be there waiting for fertilization. That is one of the easy and simplest method to find out whether you are ovulating or not and how to time your sex during ovulation. Suppose if you are not able to get a ovulation kit and you want to depend on some simpler methods by which you can make out whether you are ovulating or not. The second one is called as a BBT chart or a basal body temperature chart. This is a chart where every day early morning you temperature your body temperature by a thermometer and put it in a graph. Normally just before ovulation there will be a decrease in the temperature by half a degree and then it rises a little more. If you keep doing, you will come to know when there is a decrease in the temperature and there is a rise, then you know this is a time you are going to ovulate and you must plan your sex during that time for 4-5 days. Little unreliable method because it all depends on the accuracy in which you record your temperature and you put it in a graph. And the third, much more simpler method is normally the cervical mucus, that is the discharge from the cervix, is very thin after periods and it starts becoming thicker during ovulation. So, when you test the cervical mucus, in case the mucus has become sticky, when you take a drop of the cervical discharge and you just take it in between your fingers, if you see a small thread and it is sticky, that means that is the time you are going to ovulate. These are the three simple methods. More reliable would be you will have to go to the doctor, get a follicular monitoring that is done by an ultrasound scan. The doctor will do the ultrasound scan starting from the eighth day of your periods to see the size of your follicle. The follicle will have to grow up to 18 to 20 millimeter. That means your egg is ready to be released. More reliable method by which you can try to have your sex and plan for a pregnancy.